Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. Today, let's look at some guard passing options for your jiu-jitsu. So check it out. All right, so in previous videos, we talked about the basic fundamentals of good posture, how to open the closed guard position. Today, we're going to look at more advanced options of when someone knows how to use their feet to pummel them back in and how you can neutralize the pressure pass to get to the side control. All right, so the first one is going to be maybe you're pummeling your arm inside to get that single underhook, that stack pass. And other times you might use the same thing because they kind of like work hand in hand, right? The stack pass and the double under pass is pretty much the same. All right, so if I had this grip here underneath going for the double unders, controlling to one side or to the opposite, that'll resemble the same type of passing. But today I want to talk about the topic of when you are passing the guard, and you're not able to just use one single pass such as the stack pass for example and you get stuck because someone brings their legs back into the equation all right so for example maybe i was passing the guard here taking care of this pass and as i pass look i'm trying to pressure pass here but look his foot is going to go up and weave around in front and now he's going to bring this leg back into the equation and a lot of times instead of placing at the same place so i don't push it again he might start framing me more like this all right so this could be a motion where he's going to try to recover his guard and maintain position. If you see this now, it's very important to always understand one thing. Every time you have one arm in, you have the other one in the same direction. So for example, don't get caught in triangle chokes with one, mar one arm in, one arm out. All right. So two in, two out is good. But if you have one that's stuck inside like this, all right, and the other one was outside, to prevent any submission attacks such as the triangle choke, what you got to do is if you can't bring this arm back out or this arm back in is to use the favorite pass I like to do from here is the over under. All right. So this one is the under already. And now we're going to use the over right here. All right. To neutralize this leg. All right. So if you're stuck inside somebody's guard, at least isolate this leg so you can't go and wrap your neck. Now to finalize the pass, what we're going to do on this side, it's going to be very important once we get underneath his leg is to grab right here at the belt, right? Make a nice grip on his waistline where the belt is. And on this side, I'm going to use all of my body weight, cupping my elbow, cupping my tricep over his lap, all right? And now this is going to be my over under pass. What I need to do now is clear this side of his leg. So watch, as I lean into him as such, what I'm going to do is clear the leg and sprawl my bottom leg. So my left leg is sprawled and now I'm going to use my hand, push his knee as I tilt back into a back step. And now I'll come back up, control his hip and catch his head so I can maintain the side control position, clearing my bottom arm out and going palm to palm. Now we'll look at this pass from the side view so you can see the leg work. So as I got to here, the underhook is here and now he brought his leg. Maybe I'm going for a double under or trying to stack pass. Now he's going to pummel his leg around and bring his foot back inside to give me issues. So you already have one hand inside, so we're going to grab on the far side hip here. And now look, I'm going to bring my elbow and my arm on top of his lap. So I'm going to kill this leg so I can't get caught in triangles. Now watch this. Once I'm here, this is the over under. What I need to do is apply a lot of weight, a lot of pressure, pinpoint this shoulder onto his stomach so he can't move. So as I get this position here, I'm going to lean onto my toes as such. Now I'll sprawl one leg, boom, and now I'll back step and push his knee out, two. Once I'm here, I'll drive my knee back to his hip, catch his neck, pull him in, and now I have the side control position. Once again, here, passing one arm underneath, and now this one gives you issues. As he comes it back, boom, pummels here, and now we end up like this, same initial position. Sometimes the foot is going to be between your legs onto the ground. Other times it's going to be across your lap like this, like a frame, all right? He's shielding your hips, trying to prevent you from stack passing him. So if you end up in this position here, now we have that first option where we go over under and we start clearing this path. Now, sometimes to prevent this, not only is he very limber with this leg, he might be very agile and limber with this leg as well. So to prevent me from going on this direction, what he's going to do is bring his leg over my head and block this direction of my pass. So now it's hard for me to pass like we did initially. But what we're going to do now is 
continue the pressure, we can also clear the pressure and pass on this side. But that gives you a great opportunity now, since you have the belt grip, to go directly to the back. All right, so if, if we're here like this and the leg is in the way, what I'm going to do is stand up, all right? So I'll post my legs up, flip him over his shoulder, and look, control the waist and the belt, underhook here, and now you can start attacking the back position. So once again, you're starting to pass here, leg comes through, and you end up in this position here, the over-under basically, and now he passes the leg over your head, so you get stuck here. Now of course, from here sometimes, you might be able to grab the jacket on this side here, control his wrist here so he doesn't block your hips, and now start to pressure in so you can start to pass just to this side, all right? But other times, you might just change a tactic like we just showed, and keep the grip on the belt here. Keep the grip on the belt when you're ready. Now you're gonna take your knees off the mat, boom, flip him over his shoulder, control the hips, and now go behind him and trap for the back control. So on this next one, what we're doing here, one arm is underneath here. We're trapping at the hip, going for that over-under position. But now, as he brings the legs in, a lot of times here, since it's across the lap, he might start to control this arm here. So as he's controlling this arm, it's harder for you to get that over position. All right, so it might be, maybe he has a grip, maybe he's just holding your wrist. So what we're gonna do, instead of holding this leg with our left arm, we're gonna switch the position and use our right arm and just cup here underneath his ankle. And now with your bicep, you're gonna hold his shin, his ankle here. And you're gonna make a grip with your right hand on this side of his hip. And all of your weight is gonna be trapping this foot. So it's gonna be very challenging for him to extend that leg. Now you're gonna go and break the grip and control this arm. So watch, as I'm going for the over under here, this time he's holding my wrist, making a grip. So it's harder for me to control here currently because of that grip. What we're gonna do here, we'll maintain position here, but look, I'll switch my grip, grab his belt. Now I've seized this leg, and that's the side now, once I have this grip, to break open this one. So there's two ways to break the grip here. Number one is just pop it away, and number two, we might go around and make a grip of our own here, all right? Now once I have this, I wanna keep this arm. What I'm going to do is elevate my chest, post my leg up, drive his hips up, and I'll bring him right into an armbar position. So let's look at it once again. Everything I'm showing today is guard passing from the knees, but don't forget, you can use the same techniques we're doing today if you like to stand up to pass the guard, all right? I like to pass from the knees just as much as I like to pass standing up. Everything is dependent on what type of guard player I'm doing jiu-jitsu against, all right? So in this case, once we have the arm underneath here, once again, we can simply trap here to get that over under position. This is a great technique that I like to initiate my guard passes from. But now you got someone who was holding your arm before you were able to trap that leg. So I like to switch a tactic. Sometimes you just hold on to his sleeve as such just to keep the arm over there. And now don't forget, let go of this side of his waist so you can reach that side of his waist using this type of underhook here. And now you grab like this, all right? Because it's very important to keep that shield pin, all right? Keep this arm wrapped around his ankle so you trap this side of his leg all right so once again from the beginning we were here i'm going for the over under can't control this arm he's keeping it away from his leg now i'll just hold here make sure i shift and trap his belt now to break the grip once again if it's loose boom if it's tighter and i can't go around i'll go from the outside and break the grip here now I keep holding the wrist post my leg up drive him out and pass into the armbar position. Notice I didn't let go of the belt so I can keep tugging the waist to bring him into position to lock the arm. Now speaking of guard passing type, sometimes you might like to pass the guard standing. All right, so sometimes when I start to pummel my legs back inside, that also means that my legs are be controlling your arms so you can't pass, all right? So now we're gonna get more into De La Hiva as well as spider guard tactics, but we'll cover that in future videos. For now, if the legs are in the way without grips here, what you wanna do is grab the pants from the top, close the elbows, and just take a step back, push the legs down here, and now you can slide right into the mount position to pass the legs. One more method is using the same type of stack, and now it's gonna bring the legs down but as he goes down, look, he's gonna push them to the side, drive his elbow onto my legs, and now he's gonna walk into side control, which will be a different type of pass, 
but also get you past the legs. So as discussed, we'll talk about spider guard passing in future videos, but just to give you a little idea of how to control the legs, today was stacking them from kneeling position, great options to also attack submissions during your guard pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.